It is 23 minutes uh, to 12 noon. A very good morning to you. How's the month of April taking you? My name is Tesli Bunza. This is 90.7 Truth of Him. I have some Jay Thomas with We Love Your Name on standby. I truly hope you're enjoying the very first day of the month of April. That means Easter is just around the corner. Well, with me in studio is Dr. Karanja with Jonathan Otuo as well. We're going to talk matters of abortion today. And uh, they are here to just tell us um, even what the Word of God does say about things that are currently happening. You know, things that we uh, do, things that happen that probably we keep uh, finding excuses and saying what we feel. But we are going to stand on what the Word of God says Amen. about each and everything uh, that we have. It's good to have each and every one of you. Well, good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, um, yeah. A lot of people are listening. So probably sure. a little bit of some introduction. We can start with you, Jonathan. Well, I'm, I'm glad, Tess, I'm, good morning. By the way, I'm glad you began with the Word of God. Sure. Because the Word of God is what inspires me to speak up on behalf of these babies in the womb. Yes. And so I'm Jonathan O'Toole, mm. and I'm the founder of ProjectC.com. And C is S-E-E for Stop Exporting evil. Mm -hmm. And the whole point is to speak to those Western organizations, Western NGOs, and also Western governments that are trying to force legalized baby murder, legalized abortion. Yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, those children don't have a voice. And there's a scripture, you mentioned the Bible, the Word of God. Solomon says in Proverbs 31, that's a famous passage for uh, a godly wife, right? The Proverbs 31 woman. But Proverbs 31 also talks to men at the beginning. Specifically, verse 8 says, Open your mouth, and this is my life verse, Open your mouth for the dumb, those who can't speak for themselves, and the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction, to be destroyed. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and the needy. So those are the people that we're talking about here. I was arrested Mm -hmm. last Monday on the 20th, okay, a a week um, uh, on the 20th of March. Mm -hmm. I was arrested entering Kenya. Uh, coming from Rwanda yes. on my East Africa tourist visa, and I was arrested and jailed. And I want to be very clear. We're going to talk about this more. I don't blame Kenya. Yes. I don't blame the Kenyan police. They were doing their duty. They investigated me thoroughly. Yes. Uh, but the reason I was arrested, it had to do with some law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, factions of the FBI from my country, yes. are beholden to the abortion industry. It's mm. a multi-billion dollar industry that profits off of the destruction mm. of the human life in the in the womb, these persons so the in the womb. the motive is selfishness. Yeah, yeah. Self people is, are uh, making money out of that particular right. Business. And, and it's not just a small issue. And I want to introduce here in just a second my my friend, Dr. Karanja, sure. with I believe over thirty six years of experience of an OBGYN. Me, I'm not a medical professional. Sure. I'm just I'm just a man who speaks up on behalf of these children. Yes, but. Uh, the, the reason it's so it's not just a small issue is because these children, Christianity as Christians especially, Christianity uniquely recognizes the personhood, the personhood and the equal dignity of people from fertilization. And the reason Christianity and Christians are unique in this is because unique of all religions, we worship a God. Are you hearing me? We worship a God who became incarnate, not like Adam, created like a fully grown man, Adam and Eve, but the Lord Jesus Christ, Mm. God in the person of the Son, became incarnate in the womb of a woman as a single-celled conceptus at the very earliest stage. Mm. So it's not as though, as Christians, we can't say there's gradations of dignity, gradations of uh, the image of God or personhood. No, these children who are being slaughtered by abortion, which the West wants to shove down our throats, they are equal in dignity with you and with me and with an old person Mm. or a one-year-old child, Mm. and they deserve to be defended. The pre-born persons deserve the same defense Mm. as born persons. Mm. So let me introduce my friend, Dr. Karanja. Mm. Good morning, uh, listener, wherever you are. Good morning. It is one of the most important uh, things to my life today to be able to be on the same platform uh, with Jonathan. Mm. Uh, Jonathan is as, um, as big as they come. Yes. But I want to say one thing that God has given us many gifts. Mm. And one of the gifts he has given us is the gift of knowledge. Yes. And Amen. one of those knowledges mm. is the ability to to dissect and go to the cellular level to understand humanity as created 
by God. Amen. And number two, that humanity has created by God can will not be able to grow anywhere else except in the body of the magnificent creature called woman, woman. created <laughs> by God. Yes. Amen. And for me as an obstetrician and gynecologist still working on this and having worked on it mm -hmm. for a long time yes. and hoping God will give me the opportunity mm. to work in it for another 100 years. Mm. I keep saying one thing. Yes. You may have poverty or property. Mm. Poverty of motor cars and aeroplanes. Yes. But there is one thing we are all the same. Mm. Our dignity in the eyes of our creator. That's mm. right. That's Number right. two is that there can never exist any excuse in any forum why you can mm -hmm. kill a baby yes that's right it has not been shown scientifically mm -hmm. socially in philosophy in theology mm -hmm. you cannot you are not allowed yes. and nobody has the power wow. nobody is allowed to kill this baby mm -hmm. and for these yes we will be ready mm -hmm. to stand anywhere anywhere in the world mm -hmm. and thank repeat you, these same words that's mm -hmm. right yeah. thank you so much doctor it's it's such a blessing to have people like um dr karanja and the experience that he brings mm -hmm. speaking up on behalf of these children and also on my behalf i'm still standing in some jeopardy mm -hmm. the cid cleared my name they did a thorough investigation but you know i slept it's not fun it i was not, not I, yeah i was yeah. not abused i want to be very clear they mm -hmm. were very professional i was not abused by kenya police in fact kenya has and they told me very clearly kenya has no problem with you mm -hmm. but nonetheless i was held for over 34 hours mm -hmm. you know sleeping in on the floor of, of jails mm -hmm. And it's not fun. It's yes. not fun. Yes. And and I got a little taste of what it's like for those little children when they don't have a voice mm. because people didn't know where I was yes. for about 24 hours. Mm. And so it's so important to have people speaking up for those who can't speak for themselves. I'm asking for your prayers. Mm. And I'm asking for you to take my example and speak up. Speak up for these children mm. because they deserve to be defended. And we're not just talking about theory here mm. or hypotheses. We're talking about things that are in the news. Yes. Just a few days ago, Secretary... I, I'm American, by the way. I'm from the United States. Yes. My Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, mm. announced they're going to close a loophole with what we call our Mexico City policy. Yes. What that means is... The funds which the United States gives to NGOs or yes. allows NGOs coming from the U.S. to use, mm -hmm. they're closing a loophole where those abortion NGOs that mm -hmm. profit off of murdering people made in the image of God, yes. the people I was arrested for speaking for, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. Uh, and it was the FBI. I don't blame Kenya. Let me yes. be crystal clear on that. Yes. But they were using a loophole saying, oh, so Trump says or the U.S. says we can't use the funds directly to do abortions yes. on Kenyans to kill Kenyan mm -hmm. babies. Mm -hmm. So we'll just pay someone and have which is so wrong. Exactly. Have someone as a proxy mm -hmm. uh, do it for us. And yes. again, so th that's ca also kind of how I was arrested. The way they were doing that with that loophole, I was also arrested through a loophole by proxy because Kenya and Kenya CID were honoring the good faith relationship they maintain with agencies like the FBI. Yes. So they did nothing wrong. And in fact, they're, they're still maintaining that relationship. Dr. Mugambi from the Jomo Kenyatta in International Airport told me I could mention his name. He was so professional. Cleared me 100%. Mm -hmm. But I'm still trying to get this stop and arrest order lifted from my name yes. so I can leave the country when sure. I when I want to. Sure. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I would want to say to you, listener, one thing. I am Kenyan, born and this is my home. Mm. This country is free. Mm. Jonathan Lai and any other person who believes like him, mm. who stands like him. One is that all of us professionals should really bow down in shame because it should never happen in a country that considers itself free. God forbid. Number two, it did happen. And therefore, on behalf of those people who are really hurt, I say wow. to Jonathan that we apologize mm -hmm. as a people. But for you, you have met where the, the dragons live. Yeah. There is a Luci Luciferian group working throughout the world 
in many ways mm -hmm. they are attached and connected and that is why there cannot be an excuse i cannot work with you to join you to do what is wrong sure i respect what jonathan says about the kenyan police mm -hmm. but the kenyan police should be strong enough to say if you want to arrest jonathan wait for him in your country and arrest him here sure. but he's not going to sleep in any jail in this country yes the fact that he did Saves I apologize lot. for this, mm. but it says a lot sure. to countries that are free and not free. Yes. And this freedom rotates not on dignity, but on money. Mm. That a time will come because I can see it in the distance because it's a promise from our God mm. no. that in the fullness of time, mm everyone will be free that's yes. true but praise the lord mm. the truth will make us free and here we are at truth fm yes. talking about the truth <laughs> making us sure, free yeah. sure. and yeah. you know let me get really serious not that i haven't been serious up till now but i've i've been here on truth fm before uh, i think with uh, wavinia Wanyasa, yes. and uh we've talked about this issue but it's going further yes. i heard the courts uh, stepping over to a related issue i heard the courts recently allowed the lgbt yes, yes, whatever yes. all the acronym you know to, to have a standing yes. in kenya this is beyond emergency. Mm. Let me tell you, it's, it's no longer uh, me telling the West, stop exporting evil. It's me telling you people, look, look what I've been put through yes. in my country. We are now slaves in the United States mm. to perverted tolerance. Mm. This is the way that a country, talk about individuals being possessed by Satan, like uh, in the Bible, uh, Judas Iscariot was, or many people have throughout history being possessed by a, a demon or an evil, unclean spirit. Mm. Let me tell you, a whole country can be possessed sure, by satanic possible, powers and the way uh, the Sodom easiest Gomorrah that's correct like that. exactly <laughs> exactly so you can have a national possession and one of the easiest ways is for those things which god hates the most mm. which is killing innocent children mm. or sodomy sodomy mm. a man with a man okay yes. these uh, despicable things that you would blush to talk about for us to legalize and tolerate them is an open door invitation kenya east africans all of africa mm. for satanic possession of our countries god forbid mm. and i've got a problem with kenyans okay mm. i've never said this before but i've got a problem i keep hearing oh this gayism this abortion this is for mzungus is white people going crazy let me tell you don't think you're a different species we are simply a little further down a particular trajectory, a cultural tra trajectory. Don't think you're immune. Don't think it's that African people are immune. Because it hasn't been that many decades since these things were illegal, hmm. even in U.S., hmm. even in the U.K. Even the laws you got, the colonial laws uh, from colonial times that you inherited as Kenyans, came from the United Kingdom. Hmm. Don't think it's white people. Are you hearing me? Yes. Don't think that. It, it, we've done it, and don't follow our example. Mm. Uh, it's like, I, I use the analogy when a little sister sees maybe a big sister has gone wrong into yes. prostitution. Yes. And for a few years or a few months or however long it lasts, big sister can look really beautiful, okay, because the men are giving her, you know, nice gifts, mm. nice things. And mm. little sister said, wow, this is a good idea. Yes. It looks so beautiful. But if only little sister could see, mm. could see, years down the road mm. how big sister really looks yes. 10 years from now yes. 15 years from now yes. when she reaps the fruits of that lifestyle yes. so don't you're being seduced let me not even say don't be seduced mm. i'm saying kenyans mm. africans you are being seduced by all that glitters from yes. the west yes it's not gold wow. it's trash i have to say this and i have to talk to you directly as a kenyan to a kenyan mm. And for you, human beings of the world, but Kenyans to Kenyans, there is one thing that if you are alive and it does become a reality, then you will. You have failed in everything you were sent to do. Mm. Number one is this LGBT thing. A court said that mm. already an appeal has been put in mm. because we will not accept it. Yes. Number two, even if they are, the, the appeal were to fail, and it is not going to fail, mm. and it would go to the Supreme Court, and even the Supreme Court must never kill the spirit 
of the Kenyan people for purity. Mm. This right. is a That's gift right. from God. Yes. This is not a gift from the courts. This is not a decision that is going to be made mm. by the courts of law. Mm. Good. Every Every Kenyan, wherever you are, you must stand up now because the sun is up and new right. dawn has come. Mm. That's right. LGBT gets into this country, a second line of death has come. That's right. That's LGBT, right. LGBT cannot, as far as I'm concerned, as a Christian doctor, as a Christian human being, sure, sure. it cannot, it should not be allowed anywhere in the world. Yes. But least of all, Kenya in these our God our, our country that's right this lgbt thing must stop and i can say with some authority mm. you know dear kenyan for me i also sit on another seat i i i, I chair the, the the kenya catholic doctors association and i chair them for one reason mm. and i've chaired them for a long time mm. because my vision and the vision of these doctors is clear mm. that this country belongs to, to god, god. and right. we will not allow the demon to take it mm. and believe it or not define it the way you want but lgbt is demonic it's and this demonic. is not going to be its home yes. that's correct the oh, issue no. of abortion as it is been running around and being taken around you were here dear kenyans during when we were making the constitution and we said that the life of a human being starts at, conf at, 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 con at, at conception. conception and remember and I have said this over and over and I will define it f to you again mm. that abortion is the deliberate termination mm. of an unborn human being Person. with the explicit Person. with the explicit aim of killing this That's unborn correct. person mm. That's right. our constitution says this may not be done and there does not exist in a known medical condition anywhere in the world that would allow this be done and let therefore mm. the liars who follow the father of lies who come That's and right. say that there are some situations anywhere in the world mm. that would allow you to kill these unborn babies. Mm. There does not exist. Mm. And number two is that even if the constitution was to be made again, this will come out clear. Mm. And now the Christians you have seen, the people of Kenya you have seen. Yes. And for you, the people of Kenya, mm -hmm. are the custodians of this country. And if anything goes wrong here, you will answer to Jesus That's Christ, right. our Lord, that this country, mm -hmm. you must defend it with the last breath you have. Mm -hmm. For God's sake, and I'm not cursing, for mm -hmm. Christ's sake, literally, for Christ's sake, yes. don't be timid. Yes. For Christ's sake and his children's sake, we have a promise, the devil will flee. But if you remember from the Bible, the condition of the promise that the devil will flee, to resist. resist. You mm. got it, Tess. You got it. And if you don't resist, you have no promise. You're relinquishing wow. the promise. The devil's going to sit right down. And especially when you invite him in by commission or omission, you can invite the devil in just by keeping quiet. Mm. You have no right to keep quiet when your potential brother or sister in Christ that person in the womb, mm. and person is the key word, let me tell you, it's good that the Constitution of Kenya says human life begins at conception, mm. but legally speaking, it's a bit vague, because personhood, the, the concept of a person, a person has rights, because my fingernail, I can bite my fingernail, I spit it out, that's human, it's life, or my blood, it's human, but it's not an individual person, and that let me just give my opinion is what and it's not only my opinion when you talk to a legal professional when you talk to an advocate a criminal or civil advocate here in Kenya uh, they will tell you to your face if they're being honest that the condition the legal or the ra rather the legal terminology that that child needs constitutional recognition as a person that's why you can't see I know this is radio but we have these beautiful pictures of a baby only seven weeks from fertilization and they say I am a person wow. beautiful eyes you can see the nose the fingers the umbilical cord uh, the ribs just a beautiful beautiful little baby mm -hmm. in the womb mm -hmm. 
And we have uh, the picture. If you want to look at it, you can go to projectsee.com. That's projectc.com. And look at the picture that I'm holding right now for Tess and Dr. Karanja. Yes. My point is, what these persons need is recognition of just that, their personhood, their legal personhood mm -hmm. from fertilization, from fertilization. It's not enough to say human life begins at conception. We need to grant them that protection, that protection in the womb from being torn apart. Let me tell you, these procedures are cruel, exploitive, and it's worse even than the slave trade from uh, you know hundreds of years ago. Because at least those people in the slave trade were allowed to live most of the time and work, and they and they and they were fed. But these people are literally turned into a, a trafficking in human persons made in the image of God, and the Holy Spirit of God will be grieved and quenched. I've seen it. I'm not talking hypotheticals or theory. I've seen it with my own eyes in my own country. People get so confused that the, uh, children don't know the difference now between a man and a woman, between a boy and a girl, because the spirit of truth withdraws. When you begin to define his children, these people made in his image, as people that can just be killed for any reason, anyone chooses. May God forbid, don't be timid. Stop being timid. Resist the devil. He will flee. It is. Wow, that's powerful. Uh, Doctor, we need to just uh, take a break for the news. Yes, yeah, so uh, we'll definitely proceed after the news. Uh, we do have Rose Okinda, who is going to be greeting us some Truth FM news in just about two minutes. This is Pathfinder. In studio with me is Jonathan Otuo and Dr. Karanja, just talking to us about matters of abortion. Good morning. Of Kenya. We hear songs, we hear them. The Lord. That is the voice of one J. Uh, Thomas at about nine minutes after 12 p.m. A very good morning to you. My name is Tessie Banze. It's great to have you. 21907 is uh, text line. In case you have any question for the guests I have in studio, do full, uh, feel free to just uh, ask uh, the question on that particular text line, which is 21907. That is 21907. My name is Tessie Banze. This is Pathfinder. And with me in studio, I have two powerful guests. They've just been talking to us. Uh, that's Dr. Karanja and Jonathan as well. Just it is Dr. Karanja, right? Yes, it's Karanja yes. and Jonathan are uh, just talking about abortion and um, what has been out there. And I would want doctor to talk to us because you're a medical practitioner. Yes. Yeah, about uh, we've had so many <laughs> stories. When is conception? When when is it? So if I've done this, I've not done. I've not killed any anywhere. There was no a uh, baby there. Uh, there was no. There's uh, people even say there's a difference between a baby and a fetus. Yes, you know all that. From a medical perspective. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm. Now, I wish to state this, and I, this is a written in stone, that conception takes place when the male seed meets the egg and gets into it and fertilization Happens. takes place. place. Right. That is what we call conception. conception. Some people call it fertilization, but that is the very beginning that every one of us, me, Jonathan, and you, and all of you there, that was the first day that you existed. I want to give you another secret of biology, and biology is natural law. It is. That, that time, everything about you the color of your eyes wow. every potential that you have was written through your genetic systems at conception at conception mm -hmm. that minute when you were one cell big mm -hmm. from that time up to now at my age mm -hmm. the only thing that has been added is oxygen air food <laughs> and some right. books yes. right. nothing else yes. and right. i everybody needs to know that if you ever because of your deliberate de deliberate action do anything to 
contaminate the life of these one celled, four celled, three celled. And it has many names as, as the baby grows. When a baby is born, we say a baby, then becomes a toddler, then becomes a child, then becomes a, an adolescent, then becomes a normal. At the bottom line, there are all many those are names yes. of the same person. person. Take us down back ones, and we'll go back to the beginning. And the beginning has no biological doubt. There is no doubt. And therefore, when we talk about an abortion, and understand me clearly here, there is miscarriages which happen spontaneously for various reasons and there are abortions that are deliberately done to make sure that the unborn person is terminated and is killed so that is what is called abortion elective you, abortion elective yes, abortion yes yeah. is elective happens deliberately you plan it and i can tell you mm. and these you can write and take to the bank that you can do that one week after conception. Mm -hmm. You can do that the day after with P2, with the morning after pill. The morning after pill is no different than a surgeon's sword going into the womb wow. and cutting the baby's baby into pieces. Mm -hmm. When a baby has been formed, that baby is the same right. throughout its life. I would, I would actually want you to repeat that particular statement doctor because you have said something that is very very important especially uh, for every person that is probably a Christian. There's a text I've received here I, want, uh, I wanted to check but uh, the statement you have made about the e-pills yeah, because uh, the comparison you have made to a surgeon I think is something very very important that I would really want you to repeat that so people can be able to get that because they feel it uh, it is not it is it's different thank you very yes, much so it's a very powerful statement i myself started as one single cell mm. jonathan That's here right. a very gifted human being started as one single cell two cells 23 chromosomes from the mother the other one 23 chromosomes from the father came together and when they came together, I was formed myself talking to you now. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, you could have cut me to death, broken me to pieces, torn me apart when I was two months or one month. Or you can do that exactly with a morning after peel. Now there are a group of People who train in medicine, and then they are not medical people, we call them abortionists. Abortionists mm -hmm. is a mm -hmm. group of people who train in medicine, but have taken as their work to kill these babies, and they use knives and all sorts of things, and those knives tear and, and tear and break these babies to parts, and they are not different than any girl. Who takes a morning after pill or a P2? A P2, my friends, is not a contraceptive. A P2 is a tablet taken after. Even those who take contraceptives, most of which are actu also actually are abortifacient, aim to prevent. This one deliberately goes out of their way to kill. To kill to the kill. baby. Hmm. That is the connection between the babies you find on the garbage heaps killed and that. That's right. That's right. That one you took the morning after pill is the same thing. That when you kill somebody, they do not wake up again. At any age, you kill them when they are baby, they are gone. It's you kill them at, at any age, age they are That's gone. Right. And therefore, you whether you are a Christian or not, and especially if you are a Christian, you are called to protect life. That's right. Wow. That's right. We're hearing from a real Doctor. medical professional here. You there. do not have anything else. Mm. That's right. You have been called by God. Wow. And then for you, 
Oh, I tell you, woe to you if you are a doctor, if you are a nurse, if you are a Christian, because God has called you into a second field. One of them is as a human being. Another he has one. called you into a vineyard that you must take wow. care wow. of the most important creation. Otherwise, you're lying to God. If you say, think about this. If you say you're a Christian of any variety, Protestant, Catholic, Lutheran, hmm. Orthodox, me, I'm an Orthodox Christian, any variety you claim, yes. we all have one common belief. We have others too, but specifically the incarnation, meaning that you believe that God himself was not ashamed to become a single-celled person in the womb of his mother Mary. Okay, let me say that again. God himself was not ashamed to wear that form. So if you dismiss that form, that God himself was not ashamed to be incarnate, fully incarnate, the God who created everything became a single-celled organism, a person in the womb of Mary. When her egg was fertilized, not by human, human seed, but as Christians believe, by the work and overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. You are lying to God if you want to act like the children who are in the same form that God was in the womb of Mary don't deserve to be defended. Let me say the preborn persons deserve the same defense as born persons. One more time. Preborn persons deserve the same defense as me, as you, Tess, yes. as you, Dr. Karanja, uh, that we would want the law, the government, and our, and our neighbors to give to us. They deserve it mm. because they have dignity, because God was not ashamed to be like them. And I just want to touch on something, if you don't mind, Dr. Karanja. Mm. Um, I've been following abortion, specifically in Kenya, uh, the subject of abortion, mm. for the past 12 plus years and I've had a Yahoo and Google News alert set up and I get every time Kenya or Africa is mentioned along with the word abortion for over 12 years and I've noticed a very thick pattern these peddlers who have left of abortion these abortionists who have left by the way the Hippocratic tr tradition they've abandoned the Hippocratic oath which is older than hundreds of years older than uh, the birth of Jesus yes. uh, preceding even the the incarnation of Jesus Hippocrates had a very serious oath and Luke the physician who wrote the Gospel of Luke was a physician yes. after the order of Hippocrates mm, in the Greek world yes. world now that uh, that oath said I will not do abortion specifically in Greek it said I will not uh, I have it in Greek and English. It says, I will not give a woman a pessary to induce an abortion. So no matter how much, how professional they look, mm -hmm. no matter how many credentials some of these so-called doctors or medical so-called professionals uh, have behind their names, they are con men. They are outside the Western tradition of Hippocratic medicine, totally outside. Mm -hmm. They are con men. They are lying to you when they sell and peddle abortion. Now, the pattern that I have noticed is that over and over and over, for at least over a decade, as I've been watching, mm -hmm. they talk about this phrase, and they repeat it the way the, way the Nazis and the communists used to repeat lies to brainwash people. Mm -hmm. Maternal deaths due to abortion. A week will not go by in Kenya without some news outlet, okay, talking about maternal deaths due to abortion, maternal deaths due to abortion. Mm. Step back for a moment, and I want us to critically analyze this statement, because what it's designed is designed to make us feel like, oh, oh, these women are dying because they got a back alley abortion, and so what we should do is we should make it easier and safer and cleaner to get an abortion so that these women will not die. Now, let me preface this by saying I don't want anyone to die. I don't want anyone in this room to die. I don't want anyone, any innocent person in this country to die. And I don't want there to be deaths due to a, a abortion. But let's look at this logically. First of all, the word maternal. They use that word every time, maternal. But that word comes from a Latin root, mater, the, the word we get the English word mother from. And they never answer the question in these articles, of whom is she the mother? She's the mother of whom? Mm. Of dead, Maternal. Of a, dead baby. of a dead baby, dead at her own hands. Yes. Now, the, now the absurdity, once we just analyze the first word they use, mm. the absurdity of this statement comes to light. Mm. If I was uh, a father, by the way, I am. I have children. I have a son and two daughters. If I got tired of paying the school fees of my daughter, mm. and mm. let's say she's uh, five years old, mm. and I look at her one day and I say, this is a lot of pressure. This is hard on me. I'm bleeding. My toil, my sweat, my tears. Let me just pick her up and abort her. I'll throw her down 
10 stairs, okay? Yeah. Because I'm under a lot of pressure, you see? Now, let's say in the process, I slip on that banana peel and I fall down those stairs, okay? It sounds silly, sounds like a joke, but I'm being serious. What if I do? I throw my daughter down the stairs, I fall down. Now, is this a paternal... I broke my neck. Is it a paternal death due to abortion? Should it now be safer for me to go to a clinic and in, in, in a way which is safe and risk-free to me to kill my five-year-old daughter? Does it sound absurd to you? It does. It is very absurd. But we have been conditioned by repetition. And that's the way human beings respond. The most absurd and horrible things that have been done by peoples in history. When we look back on societies that sacrificed their children to idols, we wonder how did they ever adopt that psychology? How did they ever get that mindset? I suggest to you, we're in the same boat. It was through repetition. Mm. Things that should be completely intolerable, completely absurd, mm. through enough repetition, seem normal to us. Mm. And we wind up killing and justifying the killing of our own children. That's very They're doing it to line their pockets with money at the expense of your soul. That's very Now, good. the question to ask is, mm. the maternal deaths in this country from abortion, are they known? No. The biggest data col col collected about this was in 2004 by IPPF, IPAS, and the other group that does that. And you know how many they got? 11. And out of that 11, they postulated to have a million. Abortion has been illegal in this country from the time of our independence. That's right. Number two, therefore, there is no researcher who has any data on illegal abortion, backstreet abortion, because no patient mm -hmm. will accept that I had an abortion. Mm -hmm. So what do they do? They, do? Mm -hmm. they lie that all mothers who have miscarriages that they have an abortion. No. And what they give us is actually the data of all the mothers who have miscarriages. A Number two. Natural deaths due to miscarriages. Yeah, natural yeah. deaths because of miscarriages. Yeah. Number two. It is not number two or number three or number five or number seven of the causes of death in this country. Maternal deaths related to miscarriages because you cannot be able to research criminal mm. abortion mm. because it is not allowed and you cannot research it is number nine the greatest cause of death of mothers in this country and i am right in the middle of that profession that's where i work is bleeding mm. maternal hemorrhage. Mm. Now I can tell you if anybody was to put even some little money into preventing this and no ways are known all these deaths would come down. Number two is an infection. Mm. Number three is high blood pressure. Miscarriages and bleeding and matters and mother matters related to early pregnancy loss from miscarriage is minimal and there is nobody who has any knowledge but that is what they did in america years ago mm. they said that and i remember one man who was that time he was the head of naral the, the national abortion oh, league rights who, activist league yes, NARAL, NARAL. And, and, yes and finally he died a very very deep christian mm. and when he was old and had seen the dead cell cold he said it over and over and over Bernard Nathanson, a man of honor, a great That's Christian, right. That's right. said over and over, I lied, we lied, we lied. Those lies in the West are the lies they are bringing here. That's right. I call on you, especially those of you who can be able to speak, please speak up. Let us look at the problems we have in this country. One of the problems we have here is not the problem of children. Number two, we have no problem children with are a blessing. the population. Yeah. Children are a blessing. Yeah. My dear people, do you know that we are only about 45 million people mm -hmm. in this very, very huge country? Do you know that Great Britain is one-fifth 
of the size of our country and they are over 8 million and we are not giving them food because they are overpopulated and uh, therefore they can't get food please hmm. listen again to yourself look at the reality Dra travel during the day to Mombasa you can go for a hundred kilometers without seeing a living human being you can travel to Nakuru and part of the whole thing is actually a game park you can go to Kitari the brain basket of this country and there is nobody this country has nobody I would want you to address a certain question, either both sure. of you or doctor, about now uh, family planning. We're probably, there are people that are listening, yeah? Yes. Christians that are married. Yes. Yeah, and they are family planning methods that actually are not family planning. They are doing those things in the name of family planning. Beautiful, because here I can talk with authority. Yes. Now, anybody who knows, uh, now, my name is Dr. Stephen Kemodo Karanja. Yes. Those people in this country... Those who do not know me, people call me Dr. Karanja SK. Mm. From, 19, from 1976, I got into the movement of people who had who are training people how to have, how, who are training couples how to have children naturally. The number and the length that you wanted. Wow. And I can naturally. tell you, naturally, and I can tell you, for the last 10 years, I have perfected the method. And the method now is called fertility awareness. Wow. And Ooh, any wow. couple in this country, and I challenge And you, it works. I challenge any couple in this country. To come to me, I will teach you for free. Make wow. a group of a hundred of you, and I'll come wherever you are, and I will train you, and I will not take wow. ten minutes with you. Mm. And I will show you that, like I have shown in the last ten years when I was perfecting this, that, listen carefully, my friends, listen carefully, that number one, a woman can never conceive a child unless she's fertile. Number two, there has never existed a woman who was fertile anywhere in the world who could not say, now I am fertile, because they are, there are three completely signs that must be there at all times when a woman Four. is fertile. Yes. And these signs include, number one, wetness. Mm. Number two, slipperiness outside her reproductive system. And number three, the presence of the life-giving mucoid secretion that looks like a makamasi. Yes. It is always there. Our great, 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 great Grandmothers knew this and mm. they taught this. Mm. And remember, my dear people, contraception, the pills and the what the came in the 1960s. Yes. So people the, were doing it. They, they, they were doing they it were, before. Yes. Let me I, jump in. It's, it, is it okay? Yes. Yes. It's, it's the fruit of the eugenics movement. Yes, correct. The eugenics movement beginning the end of the... Uh, uh, 18th or the 19th century, yes. um, moving on into the 20th century was very popular as the 20th century came around. Yes. People like uh, Marie Stopes, the founder of the NGO, but now I'm talking about the woman, Marie Stopes, yes. who passed away decades ago. Yes. Uh, went to be, let's say, probably not with the Lord. But mm. I'm talking about the woman, Marie Stopes, and the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger. Yes. They were pioneers in a fake science which has been debunked today completely mm. debunked but it was called eugenics yes. and it's even though it has been scientifically debunked and i know dr karanja will correct me if i'm wrong but uh even though it has been scientifically debunked this fake science of eugenics it is still very powerful because there's a lot of money to be made by culling the populations and through the selling the drugs and through selling the body parts mm. of the babies harvested, mm. the bodies harvested through abortions. And what eugenics said, just to boil it down, in a nutshell, what eugenics is, it's this idea that grew out of these Western universities and it, it went into the Nazis, it went into communism, it went all the way to China, it went all around the world, but it began in Western secular universities that had rejected God and believed evolution unconditionally. Yes. And what it said is that the human race is at different levels. Wow. Certain tribes and certain races and certain families of humanity are 
more advanced evolutionarily, and originally it was, you know, the Anglo-Saxons, the white folks, and at the bottom, you know, the different the, 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 the different the, the, contenders, the blacks, the, the, black, the Jews, the Arabs, yeah, yes, and yes, that. Yes. And I'm not saying I believe this. I'm saying that's what eugenics was. So the foundation of this movement for contraception was racism. Mm. It was a desire to call those people which elite racists thought were undesirable. I'm talking about you, mm. Tess. I'm talking about you, Dr. Karanja. Yes. Kenyans, I'm talking about you. They are threatened by you mm. because they don't have babies. And they know God has put in, pray, in place mm. a principle in this universe where even though the rich and powerful may have nuclear weapons and billions of dollars, mm. the day, if they don't have enough children, the day comes when the children of the poor man, mm. are you hearing me, will, will, inherit, will inherit everything that mm. belonged mm. to the wicked because they love children and that is the key the father of the science called the pseudoscience the lying science is called sir francis galton mm. sir francis galton in 1884 actually in his class that is when he taught the first themes and he divided into those groups of the superhumans the thoroughbred humans wow. and us the blacks who are absolutely you got it god mm. created us Monkeys. in their knowing as people to serve and never to serve and he says slaves sir francis, yes sir francis galton said that poverty is transmitted through the genes oh in his class was a girl who had failed in class in in, in grade five uh, in you know in her nursing school mm. she was called margaret sangal margaret sangal wow. is the most evil human being maybe who has been born and margaret sangal actually is the beginner of parent parenthood of america which became uh, which became Planned Parenthood, International Parenthood, with headquarters in Britain, mm. in, in, in Britain. And even later, when this other girl, Mary Stops, mm. who was British, who started that to beat the law against yes. abortion, they are people who are always based on lies in pain. Mm. Now, I was saying this. You asked me about well, family planning. Yes. I have worked for many years doing studies myself as I was doing natural family planning. Yes. And I have worked with Trukanas. Do you know wow. that there is no, that the Trukana have never had the word contraception? They don't they, even have a word for it, do they? they no, <laughs> it, it has not reached. Wow. And it is in this So country, they're better off. <laughs> not only that. Yes. They space their children four to six years. Wow. Without any of those things. Using common sense. But I can tell you the most unfortunate and, and the most unfortunate people in this country are anybody who God helped to reach class four. Because when you reach class <laughs> oh. four, they remove your brain and put pieces of paper oh, God and tell you Things. that now mm. that you are intelligent, so you I, cannot be able to appreciate you, what God created in you. And I can show you, and I want one of the people I have taught for the last from 1976 up to now who failed to come out mm. and mm. I will mm. want to publicize it mm. that I taught this one simple laws from God mm. created wow, I like in the that. body Dr. of Kranja. woman Are created in the body of woman naturally naturally that never change in a ways that honors God glorifies God oh. and they were and you're telling us uh, Dr. Karanja that there were African traditions on how to Forever. manage how I, to manage I, that I, are superior even to the western education yes. I went to Australia wow I went to the Australia to the, to the great buildings I went to, 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 to the person who discovered the mucus mm. he's still alive or the blood mm. I went wow. to Britain I have gone throughout the world for the marks in America I have gone throughout the world to learn this mm. but when I came here no it one. was taught finally. Wow. A 18 years ago, it was taught to me by my own community, my grandmothers wow. in two hours. What I had taken years to ah. learn, it <laughs> was taught to me in two years. Oh, wow. And they were laughing at me and <laughs> asking, how can you go and look for this? It has always been taught to every girl as she grew go up. Go back to your roots. Now, is I want anybody, the hardcore one, who thinks they can't do it naturally, come to me. I am at the Upper Hill Medical Center.
come to me, I'll do it for you for free. Wow. I will teach you and you can never fail because God does not fail mm. and God does not lie. Because they have, they, yes. the technology on family planning has made people believe Christians, let's even talk to Christians. Yes, the world yes, is a different yes. story yeah, because they are still in the dark. But these are Christians who are getting married, who are uh, in a godly marriage and they are being taught that there is no way you can be able to get kids or plan for kids without using these things that are actually right. against when, when you're saying there's no there's no difference if you're but able there's no money to be made there's no money to be made in the natural african tradition i have been of, teaching that yeah. uh, like you can see i have nothing uh, to show for it mm -hmm. but i can tell you i have greater things to do that yes. for, to, to, to get to show for that mm -hmm. my heart and my love for jesus the christ that's right mm -hmm. that's right that is what i have to show for it and i will use every intelligence that i have mm -hmm. to perfect these for our people so we're telling telling women we're yes. saying to women yes. and their and their husbands and yes. their and their partners yes. these people are making merchandise of you mm -hmm. and they're the yes. same people I hate to talk about myself, but that's what I'm here to do. Yeah. They're the same people who arrested me, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I don't blame Kenya. It's, it's, it, whatever, uh, people actually arrested me, they were acting on behalf oh. of the interests yes. there. And Dr. Yes. Karanja, the interests of those satanic eugenicists who want to con you mm -hmm. and who want to sell these abortifacient birth mm -hmm. control mm -hmm. and abortion procedures. Mm -hmm. They want to line their pockets with money for that. Mm -hmm. They got me arrested. I laid on the floor. Okay, mm -hmm. I wasn't abused, but it was not fun. Yeah, Let me reiterate, it was not it's fun. not fun to be in jail. But away from <laughs> that, Jonathan, yeah. away from just them yeah. using money, there's the aspect of God. That's correct. The, 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 Disobedience that's correct. and that's going correct. against the word of God. That's the correct. God, that's the correct. God beat yes. is yeah. the one they want to rub away. It's Antichrist. They want, it's they, the they, spirit. Yes, it's Antichrist. They want to, to, to rub away. And I want to say this, and especially to Christians, mm. and wherever you are in this country, this country is not very big. Mm. And I will come to to you myself and don't pay me i'll come and teach you in a christian couple in a group of christian couple in a community of christians that needs to be taught when power preparing for marriage. their children mm. for marriage to be taught how to manage children mm. And in a way that honors God. Oh, yes, and I want to yeah. teach them that God has put two circles in the body of a woman. Mm. He has put what we call menstrual cycles. These menstrual cycles are 12 to 14 per year, mm. depending on the length wow. of the cycle. And yes. these menstrual cycles have nothing to do with fertility. There is a second cycle called the fertility cycle. Yes. And even the most fertile women have six to eight of them in a year. Mm -hmm. And they have nothing to do with the menstrual cycle. Yes. Because half of all the eggs released, which cause menstruation, are infertile themselves and they can never make a woman fertile. But when a woman is fertile, it will pre it will it will glorify God. That's right. She will know I am fertile. She doesn't need any other thing. And one of the other things that happen is she becomes wet from nowhere. Yeah. Number two, as she walks and does her things, she's feeling very, very slippery. Number three, she will always see makamasi-like secretion, a mucor-like secretion, yes. which is actually the transport system of her husband's seeds must be there. If any of those three are not there, you cannot conceive. Oh, my dear friends. So it's a big myth. It's a big the myth. It is a big myth. One of the things you never need in your life is contraception. All you these can them out of the out of the window. And they're poisons, aren't they? Yes, it, they am, am, am I wrong? They have side effects. Yeah. They have come to destroy your family. They have come to destroy your faith. They have come to poison you. They have come to, come to poison your babies. Do you know you Kenyans now as you listen to me? If that one third of the babies that you are breastfeeding while taking contraceptives will themselves not have children because their testes and ovaries will already be damaged oh and they were damaged God. by the mother thinking mercy. that she's saving them mm. and do you know that you get these things from even government facilities and they don't belong to the government they belong to IPPF the greatest honor of contraception in this country is international planned parenthood federation got big offices ah, right yes. here in nairobi oh, big yes. offices yes. posh yes. posh offices yes. why yeah. do you allow this to happen to you i can tell you anything that god makes is real and does not fail yeah. 
This was also in the news just a few days ago. Some U United Nations uh, negotiations collapsed. They were trying to push through. I believe the Kenyan ambassador was involved and also the uh, Irish chair of a, of a board. But it, was, it made headlines that they were trying to push through this idea of uh, a women's rights panel and a w women's rights statement. And they pushed it through on a technicality. And some of the Gulf Arab states and other pro-life states walked out. If we're silent about this, not only will people like me sit in jail. By the way, you mentioned Australia. Yeah. My good friend Victor Chung yeah. from uh, Cameroon yeah. has a big group of people, Australia, New Zealand. I might still be yes. sitting in jail right now. I just got my passport back three days ago yeah. from Yayo House, yeah. and, and they did a thorough investigation. Yes. But because people spoke up, all over the world and said, this man has done nothing wrong, mm. let him go, uh, free his passport. Yes. It's because people spoke up. So I can identify with these children who don't have a voice because in a sense, I kind of felt like I didn't have a voice. And it's because people spoke up. What I'm saying is we've got to speak up. These people operate in darkness. We've got to shed light on that darkness. If we say we love the Lord Jesus Christ, mm. who became a human being, a person, a human person in the womb of Mary. That egg that was Mary's was fertilized by God. Okay? That's what it means to be a Christian, is to believe that. Jews do not believe that. Muslims, our Muslim friends do not believe that. Only Christians believe that God became a, a divinely fertilized egg in the womb of a woman. We've got the to speak up for these the people. The incarnation, yeah. the incarnation, and I promise you, that biology comes to the defense of this with everything known wow. from genetics to everything is the same mm. there was a geneticist who was involved with me in a case that was going on in america some years ago he is now god rest his soul called rejun mm. A wonderful Christian who used his knowledge. He is actually the discoverer. He's the man who discovered Doon syndrome. And let June, I heard him say in an American court that when you have this one celled creature, if you remove it and keep it somewhere, mm. I promise you, you will never find a rabbit there or an onion or a dog. Or a, it will always be a human baby starts as one cell and is destined to be me that's right that's right a now, person made in the image of god the question is can we do we have the right to call ourselves christians if we can't speak we don't do that we, is antichrist do we fear to lie on the floor in cold no. places with cold people because if we are christians God forbid. If we fear that Christianity does not exist anymore, our Lord Jesus Christ was hung on a tree. That's right. right. Now that we are alive and we are here, now that God has given us the blessings and he has shown us the way, let us use he, what they have he was innocent. for his glory. He was. That's right. He was innocent and he was killed and he didn't deserve it. That's why he identifies with the innocent when they are killed. Uh, in the Gospels, in Luke, Luke the physician, we're talking about physicians, yes. right? Luke chapter 17, verse 2. It was better for a man that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into, into the deepest deep. sea than that he should offend one of these little ones, these little ones that believe in me, he said. And we should presume every one of these children needs to be baptized as Christians and they believe in him. Mm. We should presume it. Wow. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. Don't wait. You know, we talk about end times and revelation and Antichrist is coming, but the Bible says something about Antichrist. Yes, it does. This is your opportunity to stand up against Antichrist and mm. prove that you are for Christ yes. and not for Antichrist. John, the beloved, says in 1 John, the letter John, of John, not yes. the gospel, mm -hmm. First John chapter 4, verse 3, yes. every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh it's is not of God. Yes. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Even now, he says, it is already in the world. Antichrist, in other words, 2,000 years ago, Antichrist was in the world. We're telling you about Antichrist because when did he said Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? Mm -hmm. Well, when did that happen? Yes. As journalists, we should ask the question, who, yes. what, where, when, why, how? Mm -hmm. It happened in the womb of Mary. Mm -hmm. It happened in an unborn body.
Wow. We have about 10 minutes. I don't know how you can finalize. Uh, um, you my just, website, please. Yes. I, and I also, done that and also yeah. doctor, you can yeah. just, uh, uh, you had talked about appointments and where you are probably as you yeah. finalize. Yeah, let's give, let's give context. I, I wanted myself, first of all, to say sure. that I challenge. Mm. It's not challenge. I inform all the Christian fraternity in this country yes. who felt afraid of what to use to space their children. Wow. That God has wow. given us a method that cannot fail. Oh. It does not fail, and if it fails, you make it fail yourself mm -hmm. by not being able to say no today. But God has given, I have seen Christian men, because some ladies are fertile for two or three days, have Christian men who love more during this time when they cannot have intimacy with their wives sure. because Christianity transforms us to something new. Number two, we must not be strong Christians mm. if we cannot give solutions to simple problems like how to space children and allow others to come and poison the Christian families. Sure. Number two, if we cannot give options to people who make mistakes and all of us make mistakes yes. and we confess and we will be forgiven. We have been promised that. Mm -hmm. Any child that makes a mistake, we will forgive. Including Praise if God. they were to become pregnant when they were not ready. We must take care of them and take care of their baby and take care of everything. And there should be no fear. And nobody in this country, mm -hmm. as we sit here today, can say, I did this because of desperation. Do not be desperate. There is a network of Christian families in this country who will take care of you, mm -hmm. who will That's take right. you to That's their right. homes, who will take care of your baby till a time when your baby can see life. people will help you oh, there's yeah. no reason to kill is, your child there is no don't do reason it reason at all to kill don't do your it. child don't do it number three for those of you who trained as medical people then you are converted by the evil person and became a abortionist there is still a room to repent. repent you can repent and you can become a new doctor all over again but remember you can never call yourself a doctor if you ever kill a baby. That's you right. automatically completely dissociate yourself from the healing profession. That's correct. Which is headed by our Lord Jesus Christ. The great, the great physician. The great physician. Praise the Lord. Wow. Let me give my, my website really oh. quick before I run out of time. And I'm asking also, it's, I'm giving a prayer request. I'm still trying to get the stop and arrest order mm. lifted. Okay, they say they're going to do it. I believe them. Yeah. They haven't been lying to me. Yeah. But pray for me. I, I feel a bit nervous. We okay, pray. We I didn't pray. threaten anyone. I didn't harm anyone. Yeah. It's all because of speaking for these children mm. and against the gayism. Yes. Now, uh, I, I will also forward your messages to Dr. Karanja, but you should also give your contacts. Mine is Project -E -E com. That's Project C dot com. C stands for Stop Exporting Evil. Mm. And you can look and see about my arrest there, uh, pictures of these beautiful babies that we've been looking at here and the models we've been looking at, mm. seven weeks uh, from fertilization. And also, you can email me, Jonah O'Toole at gmail.com. And O'Toole is spelled O-T-O-O-L-E. So that's J-O-N-A-O-T-O-O-L-E hmm. at gmail.com. Sure. J-O-N-A-O-T-O-O-L-E at gmail.com. So I need your prayers, and I need you to get involved. Speak up in your community. Speak up in your church. Speak up to your MPs. And don't take this line down. Speak up. Give a voice. Proverbs 31, verse 8 says, Open your mouth. It's a biblical command. Yes. Open your mouth for the dumb who cannot speak for themselves. Mm -hmm. Open your mouth. Judge righteously and plead the cause of the poor and the needy. That's what God says through Solomon. Wow, and I'm asking you to speak up for me too. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And my prayers for you have been ongoing from the time I heard about it. And they will continue. Thank you so now, much. I want to ask you to join me in one prayer. And never worse than abortion 
is hanging as the sword of Damocles on the neck wow. of this country. This evil is called comprehensive sex education. Oh boy. People are pushing pushing it and they are powerful and they have to gain. They want to bring up our children to form them, to baptize them and to create them and to show them how to stop being Christian children and how to have sex when they are still children so that they can have a bigger market for their contraception and a bigger market for their abortion. Listen up. This is a prayer I call you to do for if you are a parent, if you are a son, if you are a daughter in this country, pray. But I can tell you like St. Paul says, prayer without action is dead. Stand up and start the journey. Join all of us now and fight this demon. This rain will not rain in this country. The rain of sex education in children is the greatest evil that has happened everywhere oh, it, in the world. It is systematic, yes. satanic, yes. sexual molestation. Yes, it yeah. destroys no, no sick uncle or pervert uh, could, could accomplish this. Only this systematic process. Yes. People have to stand up. You must stand up. Oh. This thing must never see any of our school. And only you and me can stop it. That's right. Number two, 0722-788962. It is a line that will always be answered whatever time, whatever day, because it is the line that communicates about all. It is a line of life and death. You can call me anytime. And I myself challenge you. Never moan again that you have nothing to use. Wow. There are things you can use. Wow. Do not moan that you cannot afford. You do not need to afford. God has a lot of money That's right. and he That's will right. give it in various he ways. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's Ask and it will Thank be you. given has never been truer. I forgot to give Project C's number too. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, doctor, yes. sorry, you can just give your number again and then we can finish with Jonathan. My number again mm. is 0722 78 mm. Do not give yourself the excuse that I may be in theater doing an operation. <laughs> call. It will be received and I will call Amazing. you back. Amazing. Because I would not want to hear one Christian, wow. That's one right. person did not get help because God they forbid. could reach me. God forbid. You oh. can well, reach thank other you Christians so much. and there's a network of Christians who will stand with, with you. you. And Amazing. especially, there is something I can tell you and pray with me too, that by the time the Easter Monday comes, that the book I am writing on this method of fertility awareness mm. will be out. Mm. I Put it in. I put it in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a video, mm -hmm. and people and, and people uh, spoiled it. Easter mm -hmm. is a perfect time yes, for this. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah people, because it's life. Yeah. I am going to put it now in a writing. Yeah. It will be there, and it Available. will be for you. What I want to say is that if one day you find yourself swallowing a tablet or getting an implant. Or getting an injection of Depo Provera, you have reached the lowest you can, and you cannot stand up in the morning no. and look at yourself and no. say you are a Christian. If you can call our God in heaven mm -hmm. to come down today and bless you, mm -hmm. and bless your children, and bless your family, then ask Him to show the way. The way. How to and He always your has a way. Amazing. Those, those things are poisons. Please give us a platform to yes. talk about yes. this. We need to talk yes. in yes. every so platform we can. Yes. Our phone number at projectc.com 0718-439-838. If you don't get me there, send an SMS. Mm -hmm. I'll return your call. The number again? 0718-439-838. 
Eight three eight or wow. project see dot com project project c dot com. Click on contacts. Mm, amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. We hope to have you oh, again, Doctor you, and Jonathan. I think it's very important. Uh, the Bible says, "Lack of knowledge can make you perish." Amen. Yeah. Oh, so that's that all the time. yes, yes. Thank you very much. God yeah. bless you, Tess. Mm. And these voice. And yourself, as you sit yes. there, yes. always remember, it is not because you have any special thing. God Amen. has put there as For a project. Purpose, you yes. are yeah. a project of God. Mm. That voice you have That's there, true. these voices. Wow. That's true. Voices of God. Wow. Whoever listens and wants to know yes. and wants help, mm. they will get help. Amazing. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here, guys. We hope to have you again. Well, it's three minutes to 1 p.m. We'll have Truth From News from uh, Rosa Kinder. Do join Cynthia Njuguna, MC Fortune, and DJ Terrace for the best of local journalism.